Hello and welcome. As you might have noticed, we're going to host the Ozark Mountain UFO Conference a bit differently this year. Last year, we had to cancel due to COVID, and it looked as if we would have to cancel this year as well. But fortunately, we have discovered a wonderful and versatile platform that will allow us to host the conference virtually. The best part of being at the conference is meeting friends and like-minded individuals, and this platform will help you do just that, but virtually. With some help of some coworkers, I'm hoping to showcase the Hopping platform, show you how it works, so that you can take advantage of all that it has to offer. So let's get to it. There are several ways to sign up for this conference. If you are watching this video on YouTube, then the link will be in the description box below. All the other social media such as Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter will generally have the link above the post. One surefire way will always be to visit the website, which is ozarkufoconference.com. At the very top of this page, click on the register button here or the top right corner and you will be taken to the Hopin registration page. Once you are on the Hopin page, click on the blue checkout button and you will be taken to the Hopin signup page. Make sure to fill out all the necessary fields, term and condition checkboxes, and click on sign up. If you prefer, you can use one of the other options below to sign up. In my case, I already have a Hopin account, so I will just sign in with my login info. After you sign up or log in, you will be taken to this reception area. Now, since the event hasn't started yet, you will see all the options on the left grayed out, and pretty much the only options you have to click on is to create your profile. I would highly recommend uploading a picture and filling in your name so that at least friends can recognize you. As I mentioned earlier, this is a very versatile platform which will allow you to have private and public video and audio chat calls with others if you prefer. It will be up to you. I will show you more about that later. I'm going to log in with my admin account so that I can show you the rest of the features. On the day of the event, when you log in, you will be brought to this reception page. Hopin will send you two emails, 24 hours and one hour before the event starts as a reminder. On this page, you will find some pertinent information regarding the virtual conference, and I hope that you take some time to read it over. Below that, there are some links that you might find helpful, such as the link to the Ozark Mountain Publishing website. There's a 30% off coupon code for this event that you can use on the Ozark Mountain Publishing website if you like. You can find the coupon code under the export tab, which I will show you later. There's also this link to the Ozark Mountain Publishing Teespring website if you like to get your own conference t-shirts for this year and any other previous years. Next to that, a link to the feedback page that I hope you take some time to fill out after the event to let us know what you thought of the virtual conference. Below that is the schedule for the lecture times that will take place on the main stage. Let's head over to the stage to show you more about that. On the left-hand side of the page, you will see a series of tabs, stage, sessions, networking, and expo. We're gonna go to the stage. This is where you will be able to watch the speakers during the designated time. In this example, you have Brandy as a speaker to be the placeholder, so you have an idea what to expect. If the stream has not started yet, it will simply show you the next speaker's name and time so you know when it will begin. We are excited that Forrest Crawford is going to be the MC this year again, so he will be there to introduce each speaker beforehand. On the right side, you can see two tabs, Event and Stage. There, you can chat with other attendees watching the conference. The stage tab is for anyone wanting to chat and comment during the presentations. Only if you are on the stage can you see the tab and participate. The event tab is a universal chat. There, anyone that is logged in and would like to chat can simply chat with everyone else. Now, this brings me to one of the awesome features that this platform has, which we thought you might enjoy. Let's say there's a friend or an acquaintance that you might know 
in the chat and would like to get in touch with them, you simply go over to their name and click on it. And it gives you options to invite them to do a video call or schedule a meeting. In this case, for demonstration purposes, I had Brandy send me an invitation from her end, which shows up as a notification on the top right side on mine. You click on the notification and click on the person's name that invited you, and you will see a greeting with a link inviting you to a private meeting. So now you on your end and the other person on their end will have to click on that link, which will create a session just between you two. On the top left side, you will see your name and the other person's to indicate to you that this is just between you two. Click on the share audio and video blue button. Give your browser permission to share your audio and video by clicking allow. Find your camera and mic in the settings and click apply. And there you go. Now you can chat with your friend. All right, let's get back to the stage. Immediately following the presentation, the speaker will be switching over to the designated session to take any questions you might have. Let me show you how to do that. But before I begin, I would like to make a quick side note. Since each session will be recorded, if you share your audio and video, you will be automatically recorded as well. If you do not wish to share your audio and video, but would like a chance to ask the speaker a question, you can submit your question over email with the speaker's name in the subject line. You will find that email in the reception tab under the question for speakers paragraph. So on your main left side menu, you will see a session tab. On this page are designated sessions for each speaker for a certain time and date. If you happen to go there beforehand, there will only be a blue button that says ask to share audio and video and nothing else happening. But for demonstration purposes, I have Brandy here that will sit in for a speaker. Just like the in-person conference where you have to come up to the mic and line up for your questions, so you do for this as well. You ask to share your audio and video and the moderator will cue you in when it is your turn. While you are waiting in the queue, you will see a notice that says waiting for approval. Depending on how far down the line you are will depend on how long you wait. When you're done, you will be removed by the moderator so that others get a chance as well. In this case, I have asked to come on to ask a question and here I am with the speaker getting my chance. We have designated a half hour for each session that time-wise correlate with the main stage times. We do have designated moderators so that if the speaker wishes to go on a little longer, we can. Just keep in mind that the next speaker is already scheduled and will go on stage while the Q&A session goes on. I just want to make sure that you don't miss out to see the speakers you wanted. Now onto the networking tab that is on your left-hand side under the sessions tab. This one is simply here for anyone that would like to randomly chat with anyone else that is attending the conference. You have to be on the networking page and having clicked on the big blue ready button to be randomly connected with someone else that is also wanting to randomly connect with other attendees. So don't be afraid that you will be randomly and unexpectedly connected with someone. You have to choose to participate. For demonstration purposes, I will click ready and it will say you'll meet the next person available. And as before, I have Brandy sitting in to help demonstrate. In this case, we have been connected and we have about three minutes to interact. When it comes closer to the expiration time, you will have a chance to extend the meeting if you need to. Now, let's say you would like to get in touch with this person to continue this conversation some other time. This is where filling out your profile information will come in handy. By clicking the connect button above the video, you will be able to exchange information with each other. But both people have to click connect in order for the information to be exchanged. If they don't, no action will be taken. Think of your profile as your business card. It will come in handy having your information that you would like to share when needed. Okay, on to the last tab, which is Expo. Here, you will be able to see any available vendors and patron their websites if you like. Most of them will have some special deals in which you might be interested in. In this case, we have Ozark Mountain Publishing as an example. 
we have just recently set this hopping platform up and have not had a chance to advertise this as an option to our vendors yet. We are hoping to have more for you by the time the conference starts. But for now, let's click on Ozark Mountain Publishing. We will be asking the interested vendors to submit a greetings video and all their information on what they're offering. In this one for Ozark, as I've mentioned before, you will be able to find the 30% discount coupon code to be used on the Ozark Mountain Publishing website with a button to conveniently take you there by clicking on Visit Us Now. This concludes this little tour. I hope you like it and will be excited enough to use some of the available features to meet others. I know there's no substitute compared to the in-person experience, but I hope you find this intriguing enough to join us. And now that you've seen all that it can offer, I hope you do join us for the 33rd Ozark Mountain UFO Conference and first virtual hosting. Don't miss out. Get your tickets today and we hope to see you there.